Yeah, I'm still not hearing the music. Okay. Good afternoon. I'm Shannon Hill. Just the there. And I'm Mary Beth Hahn. Today, a major occurrence has taken place, and Kansas has joined the Union as a free state. Over the past four years, the conflict between the abolitionists and southerners, also known as border ruffians, has been creating violence throughout Missouri and Kansas. This event has been termed Bleeding Kansas. In 1854, all eyes turned to Kansas when it was decided that they would get to vote on whether to join the Union as a free state or slave state. Fellow northerners rushed to the scene to make sure that slavery would not get hold of our nation. Unfortunately, once news of the North's actions spread to the South, thousands of border ruffians hurried to Kansas. When the ballots were cast, the pro-slavery men had won and were recognized as the official government for Kansas. Southerners began to meet to make laws for the slavery of Kansas. That triggered open violence throughout the state between the abolitionists and slave owners. The Northern Free Staters met and drafted the Topeka Constitution and shadow government in rebuttal to the Southern laws. John Brown moved to Kansas from the North to begin fighting slavery. The Worker Russo War began. The violence began when a group of border ruffians sacked and burned the Free State Hotel. The following day, Congressman Preston Brooks physically attacked Senator Charles Sumner of Massachusetts, preventing him from returning to his position for two years. In retaliation, John Brown got together some of his men and killed five pro-slavery men. Days later, he took 22 soldiers prisoner in the Battle of Black Jack. Despite all the North's efforts and the report that the border ruffians had improperly influenced the ballots, the Union still recognized Kansas as a pro-slavery state. In August of 1856, the sides fought in the Battle of Osawatomie and hostilities continued for two months until John Brown departed and a new governor, John Geary, took his place. During his election, peace resided, broken only occasionally by violent outbreaks. The last outbreak of violence took place in 1858, when the border ruffians massacred five free state men. Overall, 56 people were killed during Bleeding Kansas. In 1859, the Wyandotte Constitution was drafted. Today, it has been finally passed, and Kansas has joined as a free state. Now we will go to Lauren Patters Patterson, who is live at the scene. Here? Here? Now what? Hi, I'm Lauren Patterson, and right next to me is Colonel Jackson and Lieutenant Vance. So how is your feelings about leaving Kansas? I think we work long and hard to get Lee Kansas a free state. I'm so glad the union is a bit of us. The Yankees will always prevail! Thank you! Mary Beth and Shannon! <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. Well, that about wraps it up for tonight. The, the report, report is in, in and we're out. out.